relaxing day and I'm trying to take oh, I can't do it I'm trying to take this little mutt come on Teddy for a walk in between the showers and everything does he want to walk? no he's been peeing down all night come on mate I'm a little bit wrecked. It's Boxing Day. Uh, I'm not a fan of Christmas. It's not the best time of year for me. Um, this is going to be such a long day. <laughs> Teddy, come on. Got to go and get my car because I left it at my sister's last night because uh, I drove everybody home in the big galaxy. So uh, I had to leave my car at her house. So when I say I'm wrecked, I'm not actually a drinker, but um, I just struggle with Christmas. I'm glad it's over. I know a lot of people enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. But I had a nice Christmas dinner. Unfortunately, which doesn't help Christmas. My sister, um, my sister lost her dog Izzy at three o'clock Christmas morning, and. Um, yeah, I had to go down the vet and she had a stroke, bless her. So if you don't enjoy Christmas already, that's not really going to help, is it? So it was a bit sad. You know, you can always sum life up in three words, can't you? It goes on. So anyway, I'm just walking Teddy now to go and get my car. It's probably a 40 minute walk, which is going to take me an hour and 20 at this rate. Come on, Ted. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Got to work up a bit of a sweat when you're walking. There we go. We slowed down again. <laughs> Teddy, Ted, Ted. Come on. This thing. It's too adorable. Aren't you, Teddies? Teddies, come on. He's got his bow tie on and everything. And anyway, you will be pleased to know I have actually finished the Val McDermott book. Yay, mermaid singing. Oh. It took me a long time. I loved, I liked the book. I liked the book. It finished very, um, yeah, the ending is starting to rain. I might have to put my, my camera away. Um, <clears throat> we haven't even got out the end of the road, Teddy. Come on. Uh, yeah, the ending was very quick. You know, he picks up a knife. Well, he gets himself, talks himself out of the situation with this psychopath. I liked the twist in it. I did like. I didn't see that coming. That was very good. Um, and he talks himself out of this uh, torture contraption. I'm not going to give too much away because you need to read the book. Um, and he grabs a knife and suddenly the psychopath's fallen on it and it's all over. And I'm just like, oh. Anyway, put my camera away. Police are coming. Didn't stop for me, that's good. Decided I'm going to keep talking on this because uh, we only moved two streets down. The dog's taking forever. Come on, come on, come on. So cute. Yeah, so um, you guys know Izzy, um, my sister's dog. I've done a couple of um, videos with her where I moved in. Remember I moved into my sister's house when she was on holiday and looked after Izzy. I've put a picture up of her. Anyway, rest in peace, my lovely lady, little princess. We'll see you soon one day. Come on, come on. Um, I'm just going to keep talking, otherwise I'm just going to go mad. It's going to take me forever. Yes, yeah, so uh, in the new year, I'm going to be doing some filming with some friends of mine uh, who I did the acting with in Brighton. Uh, we did the acting week, which was great. And um, a few of us have stuck. Well, we've all stayed in contact, but uh, about three or four of us have... I've gelled a little bit better um, and my friend had written a script
Come on. Uh, just a short. Uh, yeah, test. Uh, prep. Come on. Ted. This is going to be so discombobulated. There's a word. Uh, you're probably going to get cuts and everything put in there. And, yeah, anyway, I apologise, but I haven't, I haven't videoed for ages. I've forgotten how to do it. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, my friend had written something and I've added a, a couple of, well, no, just a scene, I think. I think it's just one scene. Um, about 15 minutes short. Uh, sort of a comedy. So we're hoping to get together um, in the new year. I think we're going for breakfast on the 2nd of January, depending on what Boris says tomorrow. Uh, we all might be locked in again for a couple of weeks as a circuit breaker, but who knows? Teddy! Come on! Can you see his bow tie? Come on, sexy! Uh, yeah, so we're meant to be meeting on the 2nd of January in Hove for breakfast to discuss filming. Uh, and then hopefully we're going to get it down. I think it's going to go out on YouTube. It's not going to be anything. Oh, dear. It's driving me mad. Um, it's not going to be anything really, you know, it's not It's not for an award or a, or a festival or, you know, we're not going to hand it in this competition for anywhere. But um, just a bit of fun, get a bit of uh, filming experience again because I haven't done it for a while. I uh, joined up with Mad Dogs Extras agency in London. Uh, maybe get a little bit of work out of that. I'm going to look into Casting Collective. Um, don't dig up people's gardens. Uh, Casting Collective to get a little bit of work just to get filming experience again and uh, get get the feel of it again. Um, I don't want anything big. I'm too old for doing anything big. Give me a little part. I'm quite happy with that. Um, just get out there, enjoy myself. Life's boring. With the co last two years with COVID and everything, everybody's just been sort of like stuck in a rut and, you know, we had Christmas all planned and that sort of like went pear-shaped and our next door neighbour, Tony, he's 97 and he was going up to London. He's on his own now, bless him. He was going up to London to meet his nephews for dinner and um, train drivers have gone on strike. So a 97-year-old man, all on his own for Christmas. For the first Christmas that we've been able to have to get together for ages and um, the train driver's gone strike. Poor old bloke. He's coming now for Boxing Day dinner today, so that'd be nice for him, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, shame, innit? I was supposed to be going to the Alice in Wonderland exhibition on the 29th. Um, but a lot of the trains, e either they're going to be on strike or uh, they're cancelled because obviously they haven't got enough drivers. So everybody's poorly at the moment. Um, not sure I'm going to get there. I'm hoping. I was going to stay over. I was going to get a hotel and stay just, just one night. Again, it all depends on what Boris says today. I mean, if he doesn't lock down, then I might just fly up there. Um, might just fly up there and um, get a hotel for the night. I think the Alexandria exhibition is at the v &A. So um, I might do County Hall, I might try a different hotel, I don't know. Let's be spontaneous, which is what my life seems to be about. But we'll see, we'll see. I may not get there. It depends on the trains, it depends on Boris, it depends on Covid, it depends on life. Really waffling, aren't I? Do you know what? it's not cold? It's lovely. It's lovely out here. Except for the rain, but it peed down all night. Jesus. The truth of the matter is, Ted doesn't want to be out. He wants to be in bed. He's a teenager now. Like right? he's going to be two in February. He wants to be in bed. I've got him out of bed and he's really grumpy. It's like having a 14 year old that you're dragging out.
Yeah, yeah. That's it. You make me walk around. God. No, he's kicking up the grass, pretending to be sexy. Typical man. Come on. Come on. You might get there just before the rain starts again, but... At least he's in the lead now. He knows where he's going. And he's hoping for breakfast at Auntie Shoals, no doubt. Oh, look, look, he's getting faster. Hurrah! I thought I was going to be out for hours. Go on, Ted, keep going. I think it's the jacket, really. You don't like the jacket. But I don't want a sweaty, soaking wet, mud-covered dog in my car on the way home. But I think that's what I'm going to get. Hold him back. He's bloody running now, look. Little ass. Drag him off by ear. Now it's Mama Shoals. God. I, I'm not hurt or upset or anything, you know. But this is how it is. <sighs> anyway. Oops. Down! Down! <laughs> God, it's so wrong, yet so right. That's what I feel about Christmas. I've had far too many presents this year. I can't remember where to put them, but thank you, everybody. You're so kind. You're so kind. Look at this. A lovely um, ciao jumper from my friend Michelle. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you, Michelle. I bought her exactly the same, but in pink. I did. I did get myself a lovely dress, which um, I shall be wearing soon. Um, I might look a little bit Amish in it, but it's uh, it's lovely. I really like it. I've got into wearing dresses lately. And this is another present. I, I, I know I swear. I do swear. Periodic table of swearing that my friends got me. Panda and Jay, thank you guys. Which goes with this, I'll show you this. Motivational pencils, which are fantastic, right? There's one that I put up on my Instagram, if you want to have a look. Um, that one, I don't know why, because it made me laugh. But this, this is actually one of my sayings. And it's come in the pack, it's brilliant. Wade in and see what happens, yeah? That's a bit like me. That's a lot like me. If you don't go for it, you don't know, right? You don't know. It's just, uh, these just really made me laugh. Fling shit in the face of no. Let's go for it, right? Anyway, so that's some of my lovely presents. And believe me, I've got a whole lot more. I've been a very, very lucky girl today. Yesterday, should I say. Very lucky. And um, I'm still opening presents now. I've got one more present to go. But you won't see that because, Christ, how boring would that be? And my wardrobe's open. Soz. I'm trying to sort out some of the clothes. I've got so many clothes. And I keep buying new ones. And it's like, don't fit. They don't fit in the wardrobe. Sort it. So I will be doing it. Wade in and see what happens, eh? And a new hat. <laughs> Thanks, Squeeze. <laughs> I've only got about 500. Marvellous. You can never have enough, right? I did get this from my brother. It's not a cool bag. And a purse and an umbrella that's got a skull on it that lights up in the dark. Everyone is going to see me coming. And, and, how cool, look. Oh, I don't know whether it's in focus. It's a skull, but it's more like a Terminator head, right? Bloody brilliant. People do know me, you know. Well, I should hope a brother does anyway. 